Um, hey guys, um, I am. I have the privilege of actually having a, a friend here who has a basically a uh, radioactive or ra radiation detector. And uh, she's. Can you tell us what is the what is the amount right now on this? Uh, it's point one two. Point one two. And what would be normal for the, for before the, the disaster? Point oh 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 four. And what would be in the Fukushima? You've been to Fukushima and done. Right done your now, test. average. There are areas in Fukushima that are point one two, point one five that people cannot go back to. Yeah. Um, there are areas that are point two, point three, and of course there are hot spots all over the place. And we're point one. What is right it now? Right now we're point one two. Point one two. So we are actually. I mean, that's about half of Fukushima. About half of what Fukushima is. Yeah. That's that's kind of mind blowing. I I never had I any. I, I've never heard anything yeah. like that. But it actually it's not that high. Yeah. But the the standards in Japan have gone so, you know, have have well, they had to rocketed. Them. Yes, exactly. Whereas it used to be um, one one millisievert a year mm -hmm. was the normal exposure for people. Right. And now the Japanese government has lifted that to twenty, so twenty fold. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, and now they're telling people in Fukushima, oh, don't worry. And it's 20 microsieverts, or 20 millisieverts a year is okay now. And the, the way below the norm. The purpose, the, the, pur the, the new norm. The new norm. So that's the whole yeah. idea right mm. there, right? Yeah. The, the yeah. new norm is the, the, has been re re revised. The re norm has been revised. Yes, it is. So it's no longer newsworthy. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so, but, but basically, my, my, uh, we, my, my family, our families are being exposed to. Uh, much higher radiation. Level. Now, now, you have a lot of experience with this. Um, would you consider this to be dangerous? I mean, you've got five kids. How no, do you feel this, about this? this is not. this is not that dangerous. Right. It's just that it was much lower before the disaster. All right. right. So if you're comparing to that, yeah, this is like how many times more? than it was before the disaster. It's still it's still not that dangerous of an amount, but you need to take into account what other radiation are you getting? The right. background radiation, radiation when you go on an airplane, when you smoke All cigarettes. Those things, right. right. So this is added added um, radiation that you probably wouldn't have gotten before. Whereas like mm -hmm. if you had taken a flight many times, that probably would have been included in this level right now. So the takeaway from yeah. this probably isn't that we're necessarily in danger, but the way that the government is you has reacted to basically make it look like there's things are normal. Right. And right. Uh, when they're not. Right. And I, I'm proof positive because I've lived here since the disaster and I had no idea that mm -hmm. the radiation was actually had spiked like that. Although mm -hmm. I'm sure if I looked into it, as you certainly have, mm -hmm. I would know. Now I know. I know. <laughs> and no other people. Yeah. Would you mind if I share this on YouTube? I oh, know. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. And there'll be other areas probably that are higher than this. Great, great. Should we go into that? Yeah, we're, yeah. nine kids with nose, nosebleeds today. Yeah, we, that's what prompted yeah. all this. We had nine kids with nosebleeds, and we were wondering. We're, by the way, we are uh, in Numazu, very near Mount Fuji, uh, in Gotemba, actually. We're in Gotemba, very near Mount Fuji, and we're just out for 7 Eleven break, and we took out the uh, the uh, Geiger counter and decided to uh, do a little 7 Eleven Geiger countering. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever done it at a, at a, at a convenience store? Uh, no, I usually go to Fukushima and do it. <laughs> yeah, you actually go. You actually go to the actual area and you actually get out of the car yeah, and put it on the ground. Yeah, the highest level I've recorded is twelve. Twelve. My gosh. Now, aren't there places that people evacuate at that level? And that place was a place that people cannot go back to live in, but you can pass through on your car. Wow. And I've gosh. worked in places in Namiecho that are six. And actually, when I worked there, I did get nosebleeds for three days. So the nosebleeds, that's, that's not I, just a... No, it's a symptom of radio, radiation. It is, indeed. Yeah. It is, indeed. Yeah. Wow, my gosh. Now, I, I don't want to take too much of your time, but, I mean, you were telling me stories before that really set me back in terms of the way that the people are, re are not able to leave the area. Uh, right, right. Because of, because of the... Basically, financially. Financially, because yeah. they can't get the, the benefits, yes. the disaster benefits. And also being uh, discriminated against in other prefectures. So there's cultural stuff, government action yes. as well. And all in all, it basically please serves to try to put a lid on the whole thing and the ones that suffer are the people at ground zero in the area surrounding areas right right and another factor is that you've got a lot of older people that are living in Fukushima mm -hmm. like old uh, grandmothers and grandfathers yeah. and they don't want their families to be broken up and right. separated right. so they are also trying to keep their family in Fukushima right because right. they don't want to be left alone to die alone right wow they want the the extended family to continue for i mean you know these are families that have been together sure. for generations right and all of a sudden oh my my child and my grandchild are going to be gone and right. never come back so the older generation is pressuring the younger people too 
you know, please don't leave me alone, I don't want to be left alone, which of course is understandable, you know, but you need yeah, to think, of course, yeah, of course, you've yeah. got to think of all the, 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 the big picture right things. So there's, there's so cultural so elements so there's, and a, a yeah, lot of stuff going it's on. It's really, yeah, but it's a difficult situation. I think the thing that you told me today that really set me back the furthest was when you were telling me what the children were saying about their, their radiation levels. Oh, yes, yes, Can yes. Can you just explain that again? Uh, yes, they have, um, they're cysts in their thyroid. Right. And so they're uh, either labeled A1, A2, or B1. A1 is you have no abnormalities. A2 means they found cysts in your, your thyroid. Uh, B1 is basically you're probably uh, going to get cancer or you already have right. cancer. Oh, really? Um, and kids that are A1 and A2, uh, 40, 43% of the kids in, in uh, Fukushima have A2. And so... Um, 43%. 43%. And they basically go around saying, oh, which one are you? Are you A1? Are, are you A2? The kids know the terms. Oh, they know the terms. These are grade school children? These are grade school children. They get tested, um, I think... They got tested right after the disaster. I think they get tested once a year. Really? Yes. But another problem with these tests is that um, they're, they're, they're only 10 seconds long. 10 seconds long? Really? Why is that? Oh, because they don't want to find anything. Oh, so they're, 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 the, the longer the, the test can go on, the more radiation yeah, the, they can pick up. No, no, no. The longer the test, the more they can detect cysts in huh? their thyroid. The cysts. It's the cysts, right? Yeah. Right, right, so what the doctors do is for 10 seconds, they check their neck and they go, okay, oh, you're an A1. Good for you. And you were and telling me before, if they get if they get diagnosed as A1, they but can't get a second no, test. because the doctors and hospitals have been told that they're not allowed to give second opinions to people who have A1 uh, diagnosis. And you said that's because a lot of them are actually A2s? Yeah, they don't want to find that out. And and they don't want to increase the percentages that they already have right now. Scary. Very scary. scary. It's scary. very scary. And scary for kids to be talking about this. Really? You wow. Know, oh, you're an A1, I'm an A2. That, that they yeah. even know about that type of thing. Oh, they, yeah. And, and, and little three-year-olds, four-year-olds, you know, that, that know which areas are radioactive and which areas they are not. They know that kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah. My gosh. You know, it's like, oh, no, it's point three today. You can't go out to play. Oh, well, too bad. And you were telling me before that on the school grounds that have been clean, the radiation is low, but if you step right off the oh, school right, ground, right. it spikes yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. You've yes, yes. tested it with your... Uh, no, I haven't gone to that area in Fukushima. Yeah. I want to go. Wow, my gosh. But You've been back. How many times have you been? To Fukushima? Can you I don't count? know, 30, 40? 30, 40 times? Wow. Oh, look at me, so. I've only been there with you twice. <laughs> and you've gone like 20 or 30 times in between each. Yeah, My I go about goodness. at least twice a month. I think this month is three, three or four times. You take your big van with you? I take my big van. Yeah. Wow. Do you have the license plate people. here? It's on my car. Should you take a picture of the license plate. That's perfect. Is that okay? That would be public, though. Is that oh, go, no, the license that's on my mirror. Oh, the license that's on your mirror? What do you mean? The, right here? What is that? I want to say, Carrie? California Carrie? Uh, did it get in there? I, hope so. I don't know if I can see it. Well, it, may, it may be too bright. Maybe if I turn on a... Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, that worked. That worked. Yeah, try that again. Give me. I'll let you have a flashlight in a second. Sorry, guys, for uh, that worked. That's beautiful. I look, oh, there, there, there. That's beautiful. Oh, we got it. Yeah, California carry. Yeah, <laughs> we've got three California. We got. We got two, three Americans, two Californians, one, uh, one from Boston, and two gentlemen from Croatia. Not the Soviet Union. Or not in any way associated Apparently. with the Soviet Union. Or, or so they say. Right. Yes, they so deny they say. it all. Yes, the time. I, 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 I embarrassingly uh, I put my foot in my mouth thinking there was some association there. But that's for other videos, other for other seasons, and they haven't let me live it down. But but in response, what I did was that that evening I went home and I got on the internet and I looked up and I learned a lot about Croatia. You will forevermore be known as yeah. as the Cold War guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, just not the the American Cold War guy. Cold yeah, war. that's right. I, I yeah, the war. cold war. Well, speaking of cold stuff, and we don't we want to get in there and get some cold. I wish we could have some real cold stuff. What do you mean? You know, but Can't we? You guys why can not? Enjoy. Go okay. ahead. Okay. I'll have to edit those two together. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys uh, for the time you spent with, uh, making this video, and thank you for the information. Um, I'm going to share this on the internet and uh, to as wide an audience as I possibly can. Okay. Royal Please do. Uh, well, I want. I don't monetize these types of videos, so these are just for uh, dissemination of information. So thank you everybody. And thank I you very much. Thank, well, thank you. you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's let's go have some fun now. Okay. <laughs> See you guys. Bye bye. Okay.